Hello everyone, Jake here with Unreal RPG Mastery. In the last video, we created draw and sheath weapon functionality. In this video, we are going to implement a pickup actor and a simple interaction system so that the character can interact with a pickup actor and equip a weapon. For this lesson, you will need to understand some basic concepts of blueprint communication. Specifically, we're going to be using a blueprint interface. In case you're not familiar with a blueprint interface, a blueprint interface is a collection of functions, name only, no implementation, that can be added to other blueprints and given functionality. Blueprint interfaces allow different blueprints to share with and send data to one another. A good use case of an interface is for multiple types of objects that share some specific functionality. In our example for this lesson, we will be creating an interface for character interaction. Multiple different types of objects will need their own interaction events, such as pickup actor and a door, we can use a blueprint interface that contains these functions and have all interactables implement these functions. We could also do this through casting, but for this scenario an interface is much better, as with an interface you don't need a reference to the specific class to call an interaction function. So let's get started creating our interaction system. The first thing we're going to do is create our interaction interface. So let's go to the combat system blueprints folder and let's create a new folder. We'll call this one interfaces and open that folder up, right click under blueprints, we need to create a blueprint interface. We'll call this one interactable BPI. Okay, open it up. We'll name this function interact. So this will be the interaction event that runs whenever we interact with the object. As an input, we're going to need an actor. This will be the caller, the one that called the interaction. And now let's create an input for interaction. So go to Edit, Project Settings, Input, create a new input action, call this one Interact. And I'll make that one E. Okay, now add the input action, Interact. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to search for interactables. And a good way to search for interactables would be a sphere trace. We can do a sphere trace for objects. In the start and end, we can just get actor location. Just for testing, we'll make the radius something like 100. As for the object types, we can make array. We actually could make a custom object type here, which we'll do here in a second. Actors to ignore, make array, we'll just ignore self. Okay, and then we can drag out from out hit and break. Take the hit actor and we'll call interact. We need to make sure that there was a hit, and if there was, then we need to call interact. And the caller is gonna be self. So this does a sphere trace and only returns hits of the object types here. Once it gets a hit, it'll call the interact message on the actor that was hit. Okay, now let's go to blueprints, and let's create the pickup actor. So go to the actors folder, and let's create a new actor, blueprint class of type actor, and we'll call this one bp underscore pickup actor. Okay, open that up. Now we need to implement the interface, so go to class settings. Under implemented interfaces, we need to add the interactable BPI. Okay, compile and save, and now that we've added that, we can call the event interact. Now let's add a mesh, so that way we can see the pickup actor in the world. We can just add a cube. Now we need to add a collision to this pickup actor, so our sphere trace can detect the pickup actor. So we just need to add a sphere collision. And as for the radius, we can make that 100. Okay, now that we've created the pickup actor and added the interaction event, let's test it out and see if it works. So to test that out, we can just print a string and we can print the caller. Compile and save. And now let's go to the world and let's add a pickup actor. And let's test it out and see what happens. So I'm gonna walk up to the pickup actor and press the interact button. As you can see, nothing is happening. And the reason why nothing is happening is because for the sphere trace for objects function, we're only searching for objects that have the world static object type. And the object type for this collision is world dynamic. So what we need to do is go back to the combat character and set this to world dynamic. Let's go up to the object and test it out. And now it prints the combat character. So now the interaction is working, except we don't want it to be searching for world dynamic, as any number of objects could be world dynamic. What we want to do is only search for interactables. So to do that, we need to create a custom object type. So go to Edit, Project Settings, and Collision. And here under Object Channels, we can create a new object channel. We can call this one Interactable. Hit Accept. 
Okay, now go back to the combat character and select compile. And now we can select interactable as an option. And go back to the pickup actor, go to collision. And now we can set the collision to custom and the object type to interactable. Okay, now compile and save. Now the sphere trace will only search for interactables. Now let's test it out and see if it works. Seems like everything is still working. Let's visualize the trace. So under draw debug type, let's select for duration. And this is the trace that's searching for interactables. As you can see, when it turns green, that means that there was a hit. If we set this to world static, for example, now when I press interact, when I'm not close to an interactable, it still turns green. That's because the object type of the floor is world static. Whenever I change this to interactable, now whenever I press interact, it doesn't turn green because it doesn't detect any interactables. But when I get close to the interactable and I press the interaction button, it detects the interactable. You don't want the interactable trace to be colliding with every object in the world. You only want to be searching for interactables. And the interactable object type that we created is a good way to do that. Okay, now that we got the basic interaction system working, let's go to begin play and unplug this and copy the code. And here in event graph, on event interact, we can spawn the weapon. Delete self and the owner will be the caller. For the instigator, we can just cast a pawn and we can right click and convert that to a pure cast and plug that into the instigator. Okay, now delete that main weapon variable and plug in the unequipped event. Okay, let's test it out and see if it works. So when I walk up to the pickup actor and I press the interact button, the weapon is equipped to the character. Though we do have a bug, and the bug that we have is whenever I press the toggle combat button, the character doesn't draw his weapon and attach it to his hand. And the reason why that is, when we equip the weapon from the pickup actor, we never set the main weapon variable. One way to fix that would be to get the caller and cast to combat character. Then set main weapon. And we set main weapon as this value. So now whenever I equip the weapon and press the toggle combat button, it works as it should. But this isn't the best solution for this problem and I'll show you why. So for a pickup actor, you would want to add a bunch of pickup actors to the map and select a different item for each pickup actor. And we can implement functionality for that. So we can create a new variable. This will be of type base equipable. And we need this variable to be a class reference. We can call this one item. This will be the item we want the character to pick up whenever the character interacts with the pickup actor. So whenever I select the pickup actor in the world and I select the details panel, you can see the variable doesn't show up here to edit. And the reason why that is, is because we need to make the variable public and instance editable. Compile and save. Now when we go back to the world and select the pickup actor, as you can see the item variable shows up. Now we can select whatever item class we want for this pickup actor. This one could be tough sword. So that way the character will pick up a tough sword when interacting with this pickup actor. Okay, go back to the pickup actor. And now we need to plug this variable in here to the input class. And after we've done that, as you can see, this no longer works. That's because the input class here is base equipable and not main weapon. Since the class is of top base equipable, this return value will give us a base equipable object reference. So even though we're spawning a weapon, we only get a reference to the parent class here. So in order to set the weapon like this, we would have to cast to base weapon. And set the main weapon. And now that should work. And as you can see, toggle combat does work. In the future, whenever your project scales up and you're doing more things, so for example, you could have cast a main weapon, if that fails, cast a shield, if that fails, cast a something else. It's not really a clean way to implement things. So instead, what we can do is delete all of this and go to our base weapon. And we can go back to the stuff that I was teaching in earlier sections with the parent-child relationships. Our base weapon is a child of the base equipable. So what we can do is override the unequipped function. And we can leave the call parent function, which is simply going to call the parent version of this function. And after that, we can paste this code into here. And we don't need this cast a weapon. And we can simply get owner. And from the owner, we cast the combat character and set the main weapon as self. And this is a much cleaner way to do that. So now when you go back to the pickup actor, all you have to do is call this unequipped function. Okay, now let's test it out and see how it works. And toggle combat still works, so the character still attaches the weapon to his hand and attaches the weapon back to his side. In this video, we implemented a character interaction interface, a custom interaction object type, and we also implemented a pickup actor that allows us to pick up and equip a weapon from a specified class. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to cover multiple weapon styles.